Hi, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA. We're going to be looking at the Visual Basic Editor. To get to your Visual Basic Editor, you can hit Alt F11. You can also go to your Developer tab, click on the Visual Basic button. It says Alt F11 there. It's going to go ahead and pull open our Visual Basic Editor. This is a brief overview of what the editor is, what each section is. So we're going to do a quick quick rundown on uh, the, your toolbar. So in File, you can import, export, print, etc. Edit is basically cut, paste, copy, clear all, find, um, and some more advanced coding um, options down here that we'll kind of dig into later. View. Uh, we do want to we do want to do a couple things here. We do want to um, do the properties window. That's going to go ahead and load our properties right there. We also want to o open up your locals window, and I would also recommend your watch window and that's these are basically this is where all of your variables show up show up as far as your local windows and if you're watching a, a variable or expression that shows up this right here is your code window so that's those are a couple of views that you'd want to want to add in there you also have some uh, some different stuff there as far as inserting this is inserting a, a procedure user form module or class module for the most part we'll be doing modules and user forms for formatting, if you're doing a form, this is like uh, you would have format for pictures um, or callouts, etc. Uh, in within Visual Basic. So this is how you can kind of arrange them, space them. Debug. This is this is how you walk through your code. You can compile the project. You can step into, which is basically compiling the code one line at a time. We'll use F8 a lot. Um, you can add a watch, which basically, if you want to watch what happens to a certain variable or certain sheet, etc., um, that's pretty cool. You can also put in toggle points, which we'll get into. That basically stops your code at a certain point. It's really good for debugging. Uh, the next one is run, so you can run by hitting F5 or coming here and hit run. You can break, hit control break. Uh, if you have a loop or your code seems to be hanging, if you hit control break, that'll stop it. It stops, stops. Um, infinite loops. You can also stop. Uh, you got tools, you've got references. As you get into more advanced macros, you will have to use different references so the so the code knows what it's what it's tying into. And you've got macro some options in here. We do want to come in here and set one of the options. We do want to take off uh, uncheck auto syntax check. Uh, that is just an annoying default that they put in there where basically every time that you write a line of code and it doesn't compile completely or you have an, a single error in that, uh, it will actually give you a message box saying you have an error. Uh, if you turn that off, it still turns it red so that you know that there's an error there. It just doesn't doesn't give you that, that annoying message box. So do set that. Uh, in add-ins, uh, we're not necessarily going to look at that, but then you've got window as far as standard window stuff. You've got your help uh, as far as if you need Microsoft help. There's a lot of great websites out there to, to search for different answers, um, and we'll, we'll we'll look at those as well. So quick quick overview. Here's your here's your buttons. If you want to insert, that's how you do it. If you want to save your code, if you click save, it's going to save your code, but it's also going to save your workbook as well. You've got cut, copy, paste. You've got find, undo, redo. You've got play, break, stop, design mode, project explorer, properties window, which here's your project explorer. There's your properties window. Then you also have your object browser. Your object browser basically gives you a list of all the variables that you can use within Visual Basic. Uh, so if we typed in sheet, it's going to show us active sheet. Active Sheet View, etc. It's going to show us kind of all the different uh, methods you can use for a sheet. It's a great way to kind of search search for code. And then obviously you've got your locals windows and your watch windows down here. The next one, the next video, we're actually going to look into detail, into go into more detail in some of these windows, so you can see what they do, how they interact with Visual Basic, how you can use them to make changes to things. Hope you enjoyed this video. We've got a lot coming. Thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. Please join the VBA community at everydayvba.com. And most importantly, learn VBA. Awesome.